Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Come on, join us. Don't be long before we commence our, our broadcast. We just want to have a reasonable uh, audience so that we can disseminate the information to the intended uh, citizenry and obviously those beyond the borders of Zambia. This is our country and uh, when we see something wrong, I think it is unreasonable that uh, we discuss. Countrymen and women and those in the uh, diaspora, welcome to my brief uh, uh, broadcast to handle certain issues pertaining to the governance of our country. Zambia, on the 12th of August, spoke through the ballot and removed the patriotic front from government. The only sense why Zambians removed the patriotic front is because they were promised better Sorry for that uh, breaking uh, transmission. I believe that uh, there's been some disturbance every time I want to go live. But what I was saying, that on the 12th of August 2021, Zambians spoke through the ballot, which is uh, the ballot, which is a legal way of uh, changing or removing a particular government from power. The people of Zambia made that decision based on promises that they were given by the current UPND government. Among the issues that they promised was to tackle the issue of corruption. Secondly, was to reduce the cost of living and make life bearable for the poor people in Zambia. In fact, uh, to use their own exact words, they said no Zambian should be failing to eat three square meals in a day. And that when they come into government, every Zambian will be assured of having three square meals in a day. They promised to improve the mining sector and said that they were going to produce three million tons of copper uh, per annum. They also promised to give farmers eight bags of fertilizer under the farmer input support uh, program, uh, FISIP. They also uh, said that they were going to create employment so that at least a lot of youths could be, uh, uh, could be in, in employment. Alas, all these promises have not been fulfilled. I find this as a reason to why there should not be any celebrations to mark the two years of UPND in office. What the UPND has been boasting about as achieving is actually very minimal, in fact so minute that it is even embarrassing to be singing the song of employing 30,000 teachers and 11,000 uh, uh, health workers as I am going to, 
to demonstrate in my discourse uh, today. What we have seen from the, from the UPND from the time they got into office in the last uh, two years is scandal after scandal. The other thing that we have noticed from the UPND government is inconsistency and the ability to cheat and lie to the people of Zambia. And in most cases, the people of Zambia do believe that their lives are going to change. Alas, it is now two years. The living standards of our people have deteriorated from the time the Patriotic Front left government. And I'll demonstrate. At the time of living government, the bag of milli meal was costing 120 kwacha, the 25 kg bag. Today, the bag of milli meal is 305. 305 kwacha, the 25 kg bag of milli meal. The price of fuel was at 17 kwacha per liter. And we were promised that once we get into government, we will reduce the cost of fuel to 12 kwacha per liter. And there were insinuations that actually the PF government was stealing about 3 kwacha per liter because they had put in too many middlemen and unreasonable uh, 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 costs on the supply chain of fuel. But today, the cost of diesel is about 25, 26 kwacha per liter. From 17 kwacha. In fact, at one time, the price had even gone to 29 kwacha per liter. We were also promised that uh, the exchange rates will be reduced to below 10 kwacha to the US dollar, against the US dollar. Alas, today, as I speak to you, the rate of the kwacha to the dollar is 19.5. In fact, on this particular issue, President Hakainde Ichilema, addressing the Zambians, said that he will be, if he's sworn in at 10 o'clock, by 14 hours, the exchange rate of the kwacha to the dollar would, uh, would, would reduce. Now, when people are given such a scenario, obviously they will make a wrong decision. We also promised that cardalism would be a thing of the past. Now, out of all these eminent, all these uh, 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 you know, promises that the people of Zambia were given, none of them, except to some extent, except to some extent, cardalism has been minimized. Cardalism has been minimized. And I'm saying minimized because the impact of cardalism is still being felt in many spheres of life. For instance, whenever there are by-elections, the by-elections that have taken place in the last two years, there is always violence. And the perpetrators of this violence are UPND cadres. In some instances, the cadres are still at markets and bus stations. And what has made it worse is that the cadres of UPND are taking over market stores that are occupied by the perceived uh, 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 PF cadres. For instance, the destroying of uh, 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 street vendors and of course some market stores at Comesa was as a result of the UPND cadres claiming that almost all the people that were selling at Comesa were PF. And the Minister of Home Affairs, using the narrative that they want to clean up the markets, started to destroy those market stores. Unfortunately, in the process, fortunately, in the process, they stopped because the, of the backlash. Now, in a nutshell, Zambians were deceived to vote 
for the UPND. And the most disheartening thing is that now the cost of living is three times the way it was under the previous government, which is the Patriotic Front. And to hear that uh, the UPND would be celebrating two years in office at the Heroes Stadium tomorrow is an insult to the people of Zambia. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.